The blood that flows through her veins is special and extremely dangerous. If showing pity would put my allies in danger, I will not hesitate. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. I know that we spent like two episodes just going through social links, but there's a lot of them. What do you want me to do? <laughs> We are almost done. As you can see, we've gotten through just about all of them. We really only have the, um, Ashen Wolves. I forgot their name for a second, but then I remembered, and that's okay. So, Ashen Wolves, Yuri, and Constance. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm smart. Yuri! Halt! How dare you make me run all over the monastery? I mean, it's fun to watch you run. Calm down. That was all on you, shady lady. Shady, uh, you know full well I'm sensitive about that. It's as though you wish to be incinerated. It is interesting. If she gets mad at you, you can just run outside. Um, <clears throat> what I mean to say is, all shall be forgiven when you do my bidding. Uh. <laughs> I know, I know. It's an honor I don't extend to many. You have the rare opportunity to aid me in realizing my dream. Uh. I shall rebuild House Nouvelle. Nobility will be mine again, and the glory of my esteemed family will once more reign supreme. So guys, if you hadn't figured it out yet, Constance is really interested in rebuilding House Nouvelle. I know she's only mentioned that like a thousand times. Blah, blah, blah. Restore House Nouvelle. Blah, blah, blah. Will you just stop? You're making my ears hurt. Okay, Yuri is officially my favorite person ever, because I was just saying the same thing, but he said it way better. I am but an insignificant and beautiful creature. Surely there's nothing I have to offer for your plight. Your facade does not fool me. I know you for what you truly are. With the nobility's backing, Western Fodland's underworld is yours. Everyone has heard whispers of the savage Mockingbird. Okay, you officially and definitely need a better nickname than the savage Mockingbird. That is you they refer to, yes? <laughs> Your time would be better spent laying the groundwork for me to reclaim my title. But how do you figure? I envision you using your connections to apply pressure on the nobles in Envar. Right. So say I indulge you, that I agree on this killer bird you speak of. <laughs> what I offer comes at a high price. You do understand that, right, lady? How exactly do you intend to compensate me? But what greater compensation could I offer than to play a part in restoring house? Oh my gosh, you're delusional, lady. The restoration of houses does nothing to put food in my stomach. I suppose, but rest assured that upon my return to power, you shall be suitably rewarded. So you want me to do all the work in order to put you in power so you can give me something? Let me cut through the mud here. You're broke, and you'll pay me after you get what you want. Wow. I love how irresponsible you are. <laughs> Refreshing. Then what would you have me do? I have nothing to bargain with now. No status, no wealth. You should get some of those things. Perhaps rather than turning to a killer bird for help, you should be bound before the nobles or some such. Get down on all fours and lick their boots. See what that'll get you. <laughs> Perhaps you're too prim and proper for that. Lick their boots? Is tonguing their footwear likely <laughs> to spray them to my cause? Okay, that is that that is the best line Constance has ever had. I don't like her very much, my but my work here is done. No, I was not through with you yet. You you come back here. Hey. That was delightful. And Constance also has one with Happy. We like Happy. In case you didn't know. <laughs> Happy, what in the world has gotten into you? It sounds like a muffin. Happy, it would be easier to understand you if your mouth was less stuffed. Hey, I was right. Muffins. Kindly finish. 
finish what you are eating and then say your piece. Blow, blow. <laughs> He's amazing. Nothing better than fresh pastries. You sure you don't want one, Coco? Oh, pastries. Not, oh, not a muffin, but it's still in the, like, sweet bread category, so. It's not about whether I want a bun or not. It's about your atrocious manners. Walking around with your arms and jaws stuffed full of unwrapped pastries? There are crumbs all over your lips, your clothes. You've left a trail of them behind you. Unacceptable. <laughs> hey, I paid for them. I can eat them however I want. You sure you don't want a bite? If you don't have any, I'm just going to eat them all. Interesting. You have to pay for your food? They, she must have been gone into town and not gotten those from the cafeteria. You have to try them fresh out of the oven if you want the full effect. Pretty soon they'll get cold. Oh, I'll explain in noble speak so you understand. <clears throat> they have a crisp, oven browned exterior and a sophisticated, spongy sweetness lying within. <laughs> uh, not. not interested? That's fine. More for me. I was going to say, not so fast. Spare one for me, but only because you insisted. It's, it's the spongy interior that got her. It would be rude of me to decline an offering made in good faith. One must mind one's manners. You're really dragging this out. Here, I'll make it easy for you. Open up. <laughs> Wait, don't you woo! Not bad, right? I could not, in good conscience, acknowledge this as anything but delicious. Now you have crumbs all over you, too. Your form could use a little work. Next time, stuff the whole thing in your mouth at once. I don't know that you can talk as you got crumbs everywhere anyway. That's the proper way to eat a snack like this. If you ate this at some stuffy party, cutting it into sensible little bites, the experience would be ruined. I see your point. There are more types of dining in this world than I was ready to allow for. You've won me over. Happy wins everyone over because happy is amazing. Let's eat them while we head to the cathedral and litter the ground with crumbs. A capital idea! Wait, no! Not the cathedral! You've lost me again, Happy. I adore Happy. Alright, and the last one is Happy and Torosh have a uh, scene together. Together? Well, look who it is. How are you, Chatterbox? Gone the hang of the whole teaching thing yet? Uh, it's still early, so not really. Oh, you're still finding your footing? That's not really the impression I got. It's the impression that she gets. You seem like one of those people who blends in. I could see you just about anywhere and think, Oh, that person's here. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, cool. I wasn't paying you some sort of compliment. To me, it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in the goddess. I mean, that's pretty obvious from how you treat the cathedral. You're here supporting the church, and that makes you no different from the others. I can't stand that. No need to apologize. I just have a rocky history with the church. <laughs> yeah, I do too. You betrayed me. Or at any rate, horribly mistreated me. Hey, Happy, I've got good news for you that... No, wait, never mind. You are in church group. So, uh, you're gonna have to make up with them, because we're going to be fighting to save them after the break, because you're not in Edelgard's group. So, I'm not a huge fan, but keep that to yourself. Why would you tell me? We don't even know each other. When I was little, a lady locked me up and held me captive for a long time. The Knights of Saros rescued me, promised to protect me. But then they hid me away in Abyss. But Abyss is awesome! So all the knights did was move me from one cage to another. Wouldn't you call that a betrayal? It was all for the greater good. They didn't want to put anyone important in danger. As for me, my life was expendable. That guy Alois was nice to me though. And he told me a bunch of hilarious jokes to cheer me up. I I, I, I sense the undercut of uh, behind beneath the word hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious? Do they not have sarcasm where you come from? Keep up. Anyway, that's why I hate the church. Someday you'll hate them too. They only hired you because they needed a warm body to fill the post. But that's not the only reason. When you're of no use to them, they'll get rid of you without a second thought. Sorry, that sounded more menacing than I intended. 
I'm just telling you how these people think. These people? Rules. Dogma. They want us all bound to their system so they can control us. That is very true. That's kind of what Edelgard's whole thing is. Is The church is forcing Poland to stay split in order so they have a role as mediator. I don't do well with that sort of stuff. That's why I ran away from home in the first place. Yeah. Ran far, far away. But as far as I ran, it wasn't far enough. I got dragged back into society, chains and all. The kind of world I want doesn't exist. I don't... I, I, how can I agree or disagree? I don't know what kind of world she, world she wants. I'm getting too dark for you, aren't I? Forget I said anything. Your future seems bright, at least. You can just sit back and enjoy whatever comes your <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, enjoy. Um, I've seen where this path goes. I'm just saying, don't rest your entire future on the church. It's not as steady a foundation as it seems. Anyway, that's all. I'll be going now. All right, and we are officially done with social links. So now we need to go around and talk to people. A hero's relic. Okay, that was awesome. Um, I I am un I am sorry to report that our favorite person in the world will not join us yet. Not really surprising. I think we have to be level fifteen before she's interested. Too much time roaming the monastery. You spend too much time not roaming the monastery. I don't actually need to get her up because she's already, if I remember correctly. Oh, it won't show me her, will it? Yeah, she's already S rank. We haven't actually apparently seen the S rank one with her. We got her to S rank when we were a girl. Um, but yeah, so I don't I don't need to worry about her getting really close to me. It's her and um Catherine that's going to be the problem. I'm really going to have to work that connection. Obviously, we're going to Abyss, because Abyss always has new things. Uh, whereas, up above, it sort of depends whether they'll have something to talk about or not. I forgot to run across. I almost forgot. It would be the end of the world. Bum, bum, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. You listen up. I've got something to report. Cool, cool. I'm what you might call the chosen one, the Alpha of Abyss, the Reaper and the Keeper. That said, I've had some unnecessary backup recently. Yeah, I see them. Lord Seteth requested my presence. There's an important ceremony happening this month. If only my backup had been a lovely lady with a thing for Watchmen, we could have had a love story for the ages. <laughs> Church thugs. Can't anybody relax and have a drink around here? Loosen up. How about a game? You like cards? I do. What's the stakes? Oh, I wanted to play. What do you require? Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animals of the monastery. This is such a weird thing. Now let me see. I see this one has gained some experience. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. Need something? Oh, unlocked episode 13. Wow. See you again soon. So I have nothing to do with my renown for quite a while, it looks like. For some reason, I thought I saw a glimmer loop, <gasps> gloomer over there, but I did not. There was no glimmers and no gloomers. Right. Hello, favorite person. Not to be disrespectful, but the right of rebirth seems kind of silly. 
What, the goddess is reborn every year? You're so good at being disrespectful. Don't apologize for who you are. Although, hey, if you do run into her, let me know. I'd like to have a word. Uh, what do you want her to say? I can tell her right now. I bet she'll be pretty upset to learn what the church has been doing in her name. I've got my ideas about the people after Lady Rhea. But even I don't know how this will shake out. I don't seem very devout, do I? <laughs> even so, I'd hate to see anything happen to the Archbishop. That secret message is suspicious. To take it at face value seems... Unwise. Absolutely, I agree. Well, that's interesting. Oh no, it doesn't... I thought it was actually telling me, hey, take this to this person. I did get something where I can, like, get a hint on those. Which, but for the most part, I don't care about lost items. Like, I I don't need to worry about their relationship with me for the most part. First the uprising, and now all this talk of an assassination? What is the world coming to? Now, you're the one that needs to be kept down here, because you're much more interesting in the shade than you are in the light. I should offer my magical services, just in case. Well, you'll... I've devised a spell to trick flowers into behaving like guard dogs. Do they actually do any good? At the first sign of an intruder, the petals burst open, releasing their pollen. Uh, I'm, I'm still fine-tuning it. I hear some thieves are targeting the monastery. I've been feeling restless lately, so if you want some help unleashing on those jerks, just say the word. Oh, don't worry. This this is the church missions. We did the, um, we did Edelgard's group last time. Oh, this could be fun. Now I've just got to figure out where they'll be coming from. My fists are itching for a brawl. Hopefully, I get first crack at those poor fools. This god statue speaks to me in a strange voice. Well, a statue speaking has a strange voice regardless. It is a strong voice, a frightening. I wonder what is on the inside of it. I forget what this does. Interesting. So this is definitely something that that actually oh it's, it's still limited to I can only hold three but that's still really cool that I can go ahead and just get the um And it costs a thousand or down. I may have to look at that quite seriously. Okay, I'm glad that that... Uh, I feel like that's actually something they did because they realized when people were getting to like the last playthrough, they literally had nothing left to do with their renown. So they were like, we should give these people something to do with their renown. And I agree with that sentiment. All right, we'll load back, talk to everyone real quick, or maybe not real quick, I don't know. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> so who is in here? Do we have the martial arts tournaments yet? I, I, I do want to get through those, because I had to kind of, like, stop them. Aha! The Yenner Sword Tournament is today. Ah, well, how has it not been unlocked if I can do it? into the monastery. Hopefully, it's someone worth crossing blades with. It seems we're cut from the same cloth. I'm a mercenary. Like, of course I'm not going to shy away from that. I don't know why I'm picking these up. There's actually no reason to. 
Why won't you battle me? Oh, I will battle you quite a bit, but I'm gonna have Lysithia standing behind me when I do. Hmm. That is Jurita is such a weird character because they he like nothing really happens with him, and it's frustrating. I bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Ouch. Yeah, I, I really doubt that's it. The dinner's on you if it turns out I was right. People die in every battle. And it can be by sword or spear or magic, but... But depending on who it is that died, depending on who died, it's different. In a way, yes. I hope nothing bad happens this month. Oh, don't worry. I won't let anyone die. I never let people die this early. Our enemy's true target. What could it be? The monastery has been around for nearly a millennium. It's only logical that there are secrets here. We'd better investigate. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can dig up? Once you've uncovered some leads, we'll regroup. I have a favor to ask. Good, because I'm worrying about talking to people anyway. So that, that is a very worthwhile quest. Here's to do. The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. I'm sorry. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. Yes, so uh, that's why to do is like my one of my favorite characters of this game. I still actually regret going with Sothis and not to do in my blue lion or uh yeah blue lion playthrough. There's been talk of an attempt on Rhea's life. We've been ordered to help the knights patrol. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't beloved by everyone the world over? I mean, she's not beloved by you. You already know that. It seems there were forces opposing the church beyond Lord Lamato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I don't understand. What would they have against the church? You are so naive. I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Yes, yes, I understand that. But it doesn't change the fact that it's a royal pain. <laughs> I'm trying to read books here. Who cares about keeping the Archbishop alive? God. I was thinking, have you heard of the War of the Eagle and Lion? It was the battle that won the kingdom its independence from the Empire. Even the Church of Saros had no choice but to recognize the courage of Lug, the King of Lions who emerged victorious. <laughs> the Church Such a stupid name. And the right to govern the Fargus region, backing him in his bid to found the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. In return, Lug agreed to make the Church of Saros the religion of his territory and permitted them to publicly proselytize across the kingdom. In the 400 years since, the church and the kingdom have continued to maintain very close relations. Thank you for the history lesson. I totally asked for it. That's so. <laughs> I bought the ingredients for making some sweet treats I can't wait to eat. Huh? Oh, I, I know it looks like I'm fooling around, but I'm not. Well, you totally are. I'm preparing for potential battle during my patrol by making sure I have plenty of food I can eat while walking. Smart, huh? I just thought I'd be more alert if I had something sweet in my tummy. Oh wait, was it spicy food that you liked, Professor? You told me you'd remember! Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Come on, try. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares. Wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. I don't think I've talked to him before. Interesting. Well, what's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Sure don't. Even so, the Knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is an important event for the Church of Saros. They say it's the day when the Goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. 
All right, and Linhart. I was like, that is not how you sleep, son. So sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. I was so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. Hello, Manuela. Professor, I hope you're well. I hope you're well as well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. <laughs> I love how, okay. for the most part, sure about things she is even though she has no right to be the goddess's right of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the church of seros could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration I, that seems a bit much you're so dumb maybe it would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted the plants in here are incredibly valuable this place contains the heart of Garrick Mach's 995-year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. I'm sure the greenhouse will be fine. Oh, children. No. I always do gardening. It is annoying that harvest is the first thing when it's like the last the thing I care the least about. voice that I hate the most out of everything in this game? Maybe. Oh my god, it just makes me cringe. I could record a better voice either than that. Come on! There's Anna. I did actually come down here to see Anna, just because all she had was that stupid, like, hidden secrets quest that she always has. That's the thing I'm going to see the most. I hate repeatable quests in games like this because I always want to... I'm a completionist. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. The goddess's rite of rebirth is this month, right? The monastery gates will be thrown wide open on that day. I'll be working as a guide. I hope I get to guide some lovely ladies around. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a little bit more base and dumb than he usually is. Professor, while the investigation is important... Don't forget to make time for your training. Oh, don't worry. We're doing three battles this month. If we have to battle and cannot win, all will be lost. We don't know who our enemy is, so we must be prepared for anything. Maybe. Oh, my God. Professor. Maybe. Drives me crazy. I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. No, but do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. I know, I fought with you. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. And then there's another quest to do down here from Ferdinand. Hmm. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone. To cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book. But I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable. And the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Look at those horses. Please, do me a favor. Okay, so we got that now. I remember the first time I did this quest, I got concerned. Because I thought that I just, like, I was like, can you give it to multiple people? Because I just went straight to freaking, um... Lawrence? I've heard talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Kids these days. Excuse me? They are free to wander the monastery if they want to. 
a nocturnal stroll health their studies. Don't you know anything? Let's see all this talk of assassination plots. It brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. I doubt there is any correlation, and yet... Ah, uh, it is nothing. I am sorry for allowing my mind to wander. You should be. Oh, here's friggin' Tomas again. I hear you have fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. She did at least not wander the battlefield the whole time this time. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so apparently I only have the other intel from one place. I wonder why the thieves' information was so close to Tomas. Ah. No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor, I know there's talk of an assassination attempt. But do you really think they'll do it on the day? I mean, they won't actually try to assassinate on the day of Wadavi Reaper, but I they'll do something. Like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? Did you know that on the last day of the rite, the monastery is open to the general public? Is it not usually? It's kind of fun. It makes the place feel like a festival. Yes, Petra? In Bridget. Assassinations are many. I have also been the targeted back in the past. Really? The goddess tower has an entrance of narrowness. That is most good. The windows are not the most good, though. A target of ease for snipers. All right, so I did not get back to Seth because I like lo got lost. Maybe the enemy is after one of those? Even so, the idea of stealing from a church is just horrible. You know, I really hated the maybe girl, but then I talked to Mercedes and I remember my old I old, old old hatred. She's not that bad actually. <laughs> um, it's mostly her personality more than her voice. Her voice doesn't help, but I figured it out, Professor. The enemy must be targeting Lady Rhea. I mean, that's not anything to figure out. That's, that's what they said. They're gonna make it seem like they're going after something else, but then they're gonna go for her. But they're making it seem like they're going for her. Impressive, right? I'm telling you, my intuition's never wrong. Hey, I got a favor to ask. Thank you. Good. I love these. <laughs> Professor, do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. Let me in. I have to inspect it. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Oh, I can't go down into the cemetery yet. I want to, I want to hang out with my mom, who is not there. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let me do let me go and turn this into settings real quick. And then I'll go upstairs and talk to them and then I'll do the tournament and then we'll be done. Well done. You have my thanks. Yeah, there's... Oh, and I also have to do the cathedral. Haha! -ha, I paid attention. I knew I had to do that. Hello, cathedral. Well... I occasionally... Didn't treat that in the beverage. Oh, Ah. But if I part, understands I don't mean any harm when I part with others, it's been like that. Obviously, that's Sylvain. Try to read any book that using my hands on now and again. I come across it in a foreign language. How can I read those? Yeah, study more! 
Let's see, and that will definitely be all about like, oh, I can study other stuff. Twenty or so years ago, there was a big fire in Garrig Mach. On that day, Captain Geralt went missing. Everyone thought he was dead. It never occurred to me that he might actually have survived. The truly strange part is that in all those years, he hasn't changed a bit. Which is also interesting, and something I, I, because I know that I was created with a fragment or of um, Sothis, in order so Sothis could like use me as a vessel to come back into this world. What is Gerald? I don't know that we ever got that answered, um, and why he doesn't age. And but apparently he only stopped aging when I was born. Was it just the close connection with me that had that side effect? Monastery is so big. How can we narrow down the list of possible targets? The only places I can think of are the vault and the library, and I guess that's it. I'm going to do something stupid here. I my biggest concern is running the same problem where Catherine and Shamir don't actually make it. So, am I able to make them spend time together? Have them eat together every time they have the chance to. Have them sing together every time they have the chance to, just to make sure they get all the way through. Is this necessary? You look like a cat that's been sprayed with water. What? You don't think I should sing the high notes? Practice yields results. I cannot let, like, I cannot not see their end. I've been wanting to see it every time. I can't stop thinking about Lenato. Oh, I'm sure you can't. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Ugh. Thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do yeah, don't I take the time you need. And sister, who were living in Castle Gaspar. Thankfully, they're all right. I was worried because they're both so young. But the church in the castle town offered to take them in. That much, at least, is a big relief. Hmm. Professor. Hello? I am afraid I have acted a bit childishly toward my brother recently. Well, you are a child. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. <laughs> oh, but more importantly, this place is off limits, Professor. But there's a there's a question here. It is only open to the public on the day of the goddess's rite of rebirth. Here's an idea. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the divine Saros lies. There she slumbers eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. Professor. Okay, so yeah, I do need. There is another one out here. I need to pick up. I have a thought. Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. In general, students aren't allowed entry. But, as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. <laughs> you think so? We have a lot more security, what with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up. Alright. And alley oop. More like alley up, because we went up to the library. I'm so clever. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? It does indeed. <sighs> that boy 
who assists the Archbishop. See yeah, very hard believe? worker. I hear he's originally from a foreign land to the east called Almira. I know he's still only a child, but I do wonder about his true intentions. That's because you're racist. All right. And I did see that there was one person over in the um, meeting room over here. Yep, really. I'm in a hurry. Oh, hey! It's former best girl. Seems like donations to the monastery aren't actually kept here. That means the enemy isn't likely to be interested in money. We should turn our attention elsewhere. And again, I guess some of the plants in the greenhouse could sell for a lot. But that can't really be it, can it? Yeah, thieves after money? I impossible. No way. Excuse me. Well. Yeah. Unbelievable. What a terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. <laughs> However, so self-absorbed. Who could make use of them? Interesting. Well, I don't know what that actually does, other than look pretty. keep your distance you'd best keep your something in this nervous state I might just cut you down <laughs> oh come on I'm only kidding I think last time I said I dare you to try <laughs> might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety um no I am aware of the possibility. On the day of the ceremony, I am trusting that you will not allow your attention to wander or wane. So is the third floor not accessible yet? I, I It's so weird that they don't put that on the map, so it's possible to completely miss it. That's the first floor. Yeah, it doesn't even acknowledge the third floor exists yet. All right, and that does that. Let's go ahead and do our martial thing, because we can now. And I want to do good. Okay, so... Inner Sword Tournament. Uh, Yuri is going to do very well. So will Petra and Felix. Now, Petra is the leveled up class. I think Petra is the best choice here. Plus she's from my house, and I like that. I will not be stopping you. Round two. Still takes four damage. She's got thirty-one health, so no real danger. And hey, she's got she'll still take him out in one round. So cool, cool, cool. I will not be stopping. Quarterfinals. Okay, it takes four from him. Same as ever. Uh, this is the same guy I fought in the first round. What the hell? Semi-finals. Ooh, takes seven from this person. Um, and only does eight damage, so that means it will take her... She'll actually suffer um, two attacks for 14 damage. She can survive that. You had a 
you have a 20% chance crit now? I wonder how that happened. Because you had a 0% chance crit on the loading screen. Okay, so 11 damage will not survive that. I need to restore. Okay, and so 9 times 2, so 19, 27, 36. Okay, so yeah, she'll actually hit, she actually only gets hit once by him. Excellent. I'm glad I asked you. I can't do it multiple times, can I? I can't just like load up on swords. I can. Interesting. Does it? Like, I, I still feel like the social links are better, but that's interesting. It's something I hadn't thought about before. Uh. Why did... You were so... Do, eh. Well, eh yourself. Yes, sir. People. I knew I could count on you. Hmm. There's a place that the church values above all others. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make it much easier than usual to access. Precisely. We can't know for certain, but it's a dis That is a distinct possibility. Okay, and then we... Lastly, we need to give this to Lorenz and finish that off. Uh, okay. and Za. The goddess is right of... Could it be the... How kind of you... I will have to repay you sometime. Alright, okay. and with that, we'll go ahead and end this episode. Uh, between this and the next episode, I will go ahead and do our battles and get us to the battle at the end of the month, and we'll take the church group down into the mausoleum, because actually, you know what, even though that's, like, what's going to happen, it's also very appropriate, so I'm happy about that. Aww. See you next time. Mm -hmm.